We're here on Capitol Hill for the annual Capitol 4th concert where we caught up with Beach Boys musician Mike Love before the show. So you're going to be here yes. for the Capitol 4th with right. John Stamos as the host. Yes. Talk a little bit about why you decided to get involved with the show and the importance of it. We did this many years ago and uh, we did also last year on, on Memorial Day we did the same production team did uh, Memorial Day, PBS Memorial Day concert, and that was phenomenal. We did Good Vibrations, our song Good Vibrations, and dedicated to all the Vietnam vets, and a couple other songs as well. But today is, is special. It's July 4th, it's the nation's biggest holiday, probably the most important holiday that we have as a nation. And to be invited to, to participate in the Capitol Fourth is a great honor for us as Americans, as musicians, and uh, it, it's so nice of them. And, and, you know, we're known for songs that evoke sort of a summery feel. So Surf and Safari, our song Do It Again, which is a new single that we just put out with Mark McGrath and myself and John Stamos on the drums. So this is a real special occasion for us. And so it ended up with Surfing USA on July 4th. It's, I mean, that's it's pretty awesome, I think. Now, uh, Gary Sinise, who's been involved with the show in the past, yes. he's involved in so many different causes, yes. supporting the troops. He's absolutely the best at doing that, yes, absolutely. He's a, he's a remarkable amount of uh, input and, and energy and contribution to, to the troops, absolutely. And that was very evident on the Memorial Day concert. Yeah. Any personal experiences for you, uh, loved ones, friends who were in the military, uh, and and what we can, what you personally uh, learn from them, and what you think others can learn today in a current environment? There are many, many instances in which people who served in, for instance, Vietnam, have told us how our music helped them get through a very tough time, get through what they had to do. In fact, people have told me your your music saved my life, and I said, what? Because you know, we didn't go into the music business thinking we were going to save anybody's life. We were just creating songs about what we knew in our environment in Southern California growing up. But I've literally had people uh, tell me how, how much their music meant to them, you know, especially the Vietnam vets, because our, our music was so popular in the 60s, mid-60s and, and beyond. And so for us, it's very touching when we hear how much our music has meant to people. Um, it's it's just a great honor and humbling experience, you know. Is there anything you would like our elected leaders to learn from the past and the wars like Vietnam, for example? Well, you know, a lot of that is unfortunately driven by a lot of dynamics that have nothing to do with bringing democracy anywhere or anything. There's a lot of stuff that goes on, you know, in the military industrial area, which we don't need to get into on July 4th. However, I think things, you know, people going into battle, uh, it, it, there's, there's got to be a lot of things exhausted before you take that step, I think. That's my personal opinion, because I'm, I'm in a meditation, transcendental meditation, which I've practiced since December 67, and one of the things that attracted me about meditation was the idea of meditating, expanding your conscious mind, and creating your way out of... Uh, negative situations rather than confronting uh, people eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth and all that kind of stuff. So I think there's uh, the peace is, you know, air in the direction of peace is, is, is the greatest. But, you know, with, with dignity and honor and, and strength and, and, and so I think that's what, at least the type of meditation I practice, um, it helps, helps, helps in that regard. To, to allow you to contribute in a positive way to, to society. Now, there seems to be a, a big a focus now on uh, the, the Veterans Affairs Administration taking care of veterans. The president just signed that bill mm -hmm. that would make it yeah. easier for the VA Accountability. management. Accountability. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we followed that. Uh, it's, so, so, yeah, things I think can be better and can get better, and, and I, I think if we keep accentuating the positive, uh, the world will be a better place. Thanks. Reporting on Capitol Hill, I'm Nicholas Ballasey.